king of the planet. Now let's look about Jupiter. Among all the planets in the solar system, Jupiter is the largest planet. Can you believe? More than 1300 Earths could fit inside Jupiter. It takes 12 years normally to go once around the sun for Jupiter. Wow, that's too long. Now let's look about the Galilean moons. They were named after the astronomer Galileo Galilei because he was the one who found them. So as far as we know, Jupiter is orbited by 63 moons. And there are the four largest moons which are Io, Europa, Ganymede and Callisto as you can see in the picture. Let's start with Io because it's the closest one to Jupiter. So, it is a volcanic world. It's too close to Jupiter as you can see in the picture and it spews so much lava onto its surface. Next to Io is Europa and it is a water-rich world with a thin icy crust and a tenuous atmosphere. It consists mostly of oxygen. Now, next to Europa is Ganymede, as you can see in the picture, and it is dark and cross, and it has hooves and ridges. The next one near Ganymede is Callisto, and it is dark with a very old surface which is patterned with ancient impact craters. Next, let's look about Jupiter's core. Jupiter's core is made of really dense rock and it is very hot inside its core and it is yellow and orange in color as you can see in the picture. Now let's look about Jupiter's mantle. Jupiter's mantle is a high pressure mantle which is made of metallic hydrogen. It is grayish blue in color as you can see and it behaves like liquid metal though. Now let's look about Jupiter's crust. Jupiter's crust is blue in color and it is made of compressed liquid hydrogen. Jupiter's mass. So Jupiter has the strongest magnetic field among all the planets in the solar system. And because of the reason of its mass, Jupiter's gravitational pull at its cloud tops is more than 2.5 times Earth's gravity at sea level. Let's look about Jupiter's atmosphere. Jupiter's atmosphere is composed of hydrogen and helium and the uppermost part of it contains three layers of clouds. One is made of ammonia, ice crystals and another is made of a mixture of ammonia and sulfur. Now let's look at a few facts about Jupiter. The closest point to the Sun of Jupiter is 740 million kilometers which is equal to 460.2 million miles. The most distant point from the sun is a 60 million kilometers which is also equivalent to 507 million miles. The length of a single year is 11.8 Earth days and the length of a single day as calculated in Jupiter is only 10 hours which is way less than the amount of hours it is in Earth which is 24 hours. Now, likewise, the other planets, the tilt of axis of Jupiter is 3.13 de degrees and the gravity of Jupiter is 2.64 Earth's gravity. Now, let's look at a few discoveries about Jupiter. In 1978, cameras aboard the Voyager 1 spacecraft imaged a thin set of rings circling Jupiter. We can't see the rings around Jupiter, but because they are very faint and they are also dusty and they are not as bright as 
Saturn and are also not icy like Saturn's. The Galileo spacecraft mapped them in great detail. And the Hubble Space Telescope has observed the rings and many more details. Since we've gathered a lot of knowledge, now it's time to test our knowledge. Do you remember? What is the length of a single day in Jupiter? Yeah, you guessed it right. The length of a single day in Jupiter is 10 hours. Thank you, friends. See you in the next video. Thank you.